Hello Peak Performer, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am really excited that you're watching this video today because it means that you are holding me accountable to my New Year's resolution in 2022 to read one book every month from the beginning to the end. This month, in the month of February, I read the book The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer and it was an absolute pleasure to read this book and I'm really excited to do a really small book review with you in this video about the book and share with you my main five takeaways. So I would say, let's get started. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia Arndt and I'm a peak performance coach and stress management trainer and I'm really excited to talk with you today about my second book that I read in the month of February and I even am reading the third book right now and I might even be finished with it before the end of the month um, because it is kind of the sequence of the book the Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer called The Untethered Soul. So The Untethered Soul is more about how to stop the voice inside your head and The Surrender Experiment is more about Michael A. Singer's life. So this an autobiography, him really writing about how he started to recognize that voice inside his head and how he started to try and stop it. It was an absolutely joy to read this book. I really, really enjoyed it. And honestly, I think I haven't read a book in such a short period of time because it was just a super easy read. It was really, really exciting and really, really um, yeah, dramatic at times as well to read the book and to just be surprised about all of the different things that happened to Mickey's life. In his early 20s, Mickey has this really life-changing moment because he's sitting on the couch with his brother-in-law and they're having a conversation and all of a sudden Mickey recognizes this voice inside his head that is super super uncomfortable with the silence. And so from that day onwards, Mickey's life is forever changed because he's starting to pay more and more attention to this voice inside his head and he's trying to stop it. So he's doing a lot of meditation, lots of yoga, he's really focusing all of his time into his spiritual life and he has obviously a lot of really powerful moments along but at some point he decides that he's just going to do an experiment and he's just going to surrender to everything that life is giving to him and there's a really powerful little extract that I want to read to you in order to show you that moment when he decides to give life a go. It was clear to me that I hadn't done these things, it happened to me. In fact, if I wouldn't have let go of my initial mental resistance, none of them could have happened. I had gone through most of my life thinking I knew what was good for me, but life itself seemed to know better. I was willing to roll the dice and let life be in charge. And that's when he goes on his journey and he starts to decide that he's just going to surrender to everything that life gives him and to say yes to everything that people are proposing to him. Honestly, it was such a joyful read and so exciting that I the last probably two hours of the book because I listened a lot to the book this time I didn't really read it too much in the book book in the in the hard copy but I was listening to it on audible and um, the last two hours or so I could not put the book away. It was so so exciting and so incredible what happened to him that it was yeah I just had high adrenaline and I should have probably not listened to the book at night but I listened to the book until two o'clock in the morning because it was just so so exciting. So great book really highly encourage you to read it. It was a really great reminder for myself to surrender more in life and that brings me to the main five takeaways that I had from the surrender experiment. Takeaway number one, you can't quiet the voice inside your head. The voice is always there, but it is really important that you don't identify with the voice and that you are letting go of categorizing things into likes and dislikes because that makes the voice inside your head even louder. So a lot of practices that Mickey was engaging in were things like obviously meditation, yoga, humming and chanting. So those are things that can actually reduce the chatter in your mind because you are focusing and redirecting your energy to something else, but you can't really quiet it. Takeaway number two, stop identifying with the voice 
voice inside your head. I think this is a super powerful reminder and something that all of us should hear multiple times a day because I think especially if you are struggling with mental health right now or even just with a lot of things going on in your head, then it is really important that you are not identifying with that voice because when we start identifying with the voice and we think the voice is us, we're starting to take actions based on the things that the voice is telling us as well, which is exactly what Mickey did. He basically disassociated from that voice and he differentiated himself from that voice and everything that that voice was telling him and all of the, you know, fears and thoughts and feelings that were coming up for him, he let go of these different things. He doesn't explain too much in the book how he was doing that. He doesn't really describe that process, which is why he wrote the book The Untethered Soul. And that's also why I was really curious, obviously, to continue reading his kind of series on how to quiet the voice inside your head. I think The Untethered Soul is much more written as a self-help book, so I find it a little bit harder to read and less enjoyable, but it is also still very educational and super interesting, so still a lot of things that I'm taking away from that book, but The Surrender Experiment, highly, highly encourage you to read it. Takeaway number three, listen carefully what life is asking of you. I think we oftentimes try to control everything in our lives and we don't really surrender, but how could your life look like if you start to surrender and just let go of expectations and let go of the things that you think should be a certain way? Really powerful question and something that was just so amazing to see as you are reading this book of how his life just turns to something better and better and better every time he really surrenders and he lets go of his own internal expectations or preferences or dislikes. And so a really powerful reminder for myself and something that I've thought a lot about since I've been reading this book of where can I surrender more? And what does life have in store for me if I would let go of all of these different beliefs and expectations and things that I think should be a certain way? So that's my takeaway number three. Takeaway number four is meditation is a super powerful stress management tool. All of the things that Mickey got to do in his life because he was calm and he had like a good perspective on life, I think was really largely attributed to his meditation practice. He practiced meditation twice a day, sometimes even longer. And yeah, it just really helped him to stay grounded. And that was really a powerful reminder to myself as well that meditation is in fact a super, super good stress management tool. And finally, that brings me into the next takeaway that I had was that when you are building this self-discipline muscle, which he really had with meditation, you can really apply this in all other different areas of your life as well. So I talk a lot about this in my videos as well, and I actually just recorded a video on self-discipline. So make sure to check that one out if you're curious to learn more about how to build self-discipline. But he really built self-discipline with a spiritual practice. And that kind of going into other areas of his life was super, super powerful. So if you are really practicing that you're building momentum, if you're building that self-discipline muscle, then you can also apply this into so many other areas in your life. And that is obviously so, so powerful and so helpful. So finally, I already said it a few times in the video today, but I highly, highly recommend reading this book. If you are struggling with letting go of control and you need a little bit more surrender in your life, this was a really a powerful reminder how many beautiful things can happen in your life when you surrender to the process and when you just let go of all of these different things and all of these different expectations of society or of from your parents or of yourself and yeah i definitely thought a lot about this afterwards and i keep thinking about it where can i let go more and where can i surrender more to the process and i definitely know a few areas in my life where i can do that and at the same time you know i thought it was a really interesting experiment because I sometimes wonder what if I would completely surrender to everything and say yes to everything that is happening in my life because I feel like in today's world 
where um, you know we have so many different offers and so many different things that we could do all the time I feel like if I would just say yes to everything and surrender to absolutely everything then I wouldn't really be able to really focus on my work and so that was a really interesting insight as well because I feel like in the 70s all of these different things that Mickey experienced obviously into the 80s and into the 90s were a little bit still of a different story and a different world because today in our digital day and age um, it is more important actually maybe to say no sometimes right we're talking a lot about setting boundaries and so yeah so that was kind of an interesting just thought process as well and I don't think that there's a right or wrong um, I just think that you need to find your own path and maybe sometimes surrender a little bit more in the right areas of your life so I hope that you enjoyed this video I already bought six more books for the year of 2022 to read. Um, I was sick last week, so I had a lot of time to do research on the next books that I want to read. And I haven't decided yet which book I'm going to read in the month of March because I'm still finishing The Untethered Soul. Um, but if you have any books that you really like and that you feel like I should absolutely read in order to uh, add this to my library, then please let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you in the next one.